Excuse me. Grant Tilly, what's going on? How's everybody doing? Listen, I decided to just cut out the middleman, stop bringing in three styrofoam cups full of water. Got this bad boy back with some new stickers on it. Look at that. Well, this way. Midwest 20th anniversary from uh, from SHOT Show last year. Got, got the good old excess sights up on there now. Oh, yeah. Tim. Look at that Tim on a scooter. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, Austin? How you doing, man? Dude, what's going on, guys? Throw something at me. Throw something at me. John Crewer, Gary Johnson, uh, Carter, what's going on? So John Crewer says he's looking forward to the sampler. You have no idea. You have no idea how excited for the sampler you should be. Like... Man, um, the dude that Jay has helping him out with some of the the planning and everything like that um, has a wealth of knowledge. I mean, Jay already had a bunch, right? So you get, you got these two people teaming up, and um, holy shit! Like, I'm I'm honestly jealous that I'm not going to be able to jump in the class. Like, I'm going to be finding excuses to come to the range for sure. Um, yep, Carter already said hi to you. What's going on, man? Mike, back home in Ohio. Awesome. Glad to hear it, man. Glad you made it back safe. Tattooed fucker, what's going on? Uh, I thought you were drinking out of a Tinker toy bucket for a second, dude. Yeah. That's, it's, this is the best way for me to make sure that I get my hydration. Like, um... I, I have to have a gallon jug. Otherwise, I end up dehydrated, and that's not fun. Um, got the teaching shirt on. Yeah, actually, if if uh, Jay or Tim don't end up showing up, uh, I am teaching the fight today. So I'll end up pulling on some, some students from, from that to help uh, get their opinion on some of the stuff that's going on in the fight for them, uh, maybe some of the role players. All that good stuff. You guys have, are used to listening to Tom talk about it, so we'll get a different opinion on it. Uh, Haley, listening back from Missouri. Well, thanks for tuning in. Hello, Dale. Clancy, what's going on? John Krantz, Sam Russell. Just finished squatting three sets of five at 225. Hell yes. That is, that's awesome, man. Um, I'm, I'm glad that Heather was able to, to help you out with that. Or I say she helped you out. Like, at the very least, I know she talked to you for a little bit. I don't know how much she helped, but, um, yeah, the deadlifts are important, man, and people are, are worried about doing them because they hear all these horror stories of people getting hurt, and um, that's because they were never taught how to do them right. Uh, what's going on? Ridium Group. Hello, hello. Uh, and Scott Wexler. What is going on, everybody? Would have definitely started doing deadlifts wrong if I hadn't asked. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, when it comes to really any physical activity, particularly one that you can get hurt in, um, you know, you need to have someone coach you through it. You need the watchful eye of an instructor. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that she was able to to give you those pointers and all that good stuff. I need to put a sticker on the bottom of it. So whenever I go to take a drink, you guys get to see that. <clears throat> yeah, starting strength and get some learnings, for sure. Um, yes, I, I can't recommend it enough. Starting strength is, is such an easy program to follow. Um, and the cool thing is with how good they are with the o online coaching now, um, with Matt's Matt Reynolds' company, I think is his, his isn't Barbell Logic, is it? Is it Barbell Logic, or is that the um, the other dude? I can't remember, but whichever company is Matt Reynolds, um, dude, they they have that online coaching down to a T. It's very good. So like, you don't even have an excuse. Okay, so Matt is Barbell Logic. Cool. Thank you, Sam. Um, but yeah, you don't even have an excuse to to not do it, other than not wanting to pay for it. But that's not a good excuse anyway. 
Uh, I have the same jug, also covered in stickers. Hey, dude, I'm telling you, it's the best. It's Thad, Fat Nuts has the has a similar jug, same jug, but without the stickers. And I'm telling him, you lose like close to 40 percent of your hydration without putting any any stickers on this bad boy. I do have a couple of my nerdy ones on here, right? Like, uh, let me turn it this way. Junk food, junk food custom arcade thing right here. They make arcade sticks for fighting games and stuff like that. Um, and then where's the other one? This is the Chattanooga uh, Ultra Ultra Battle League. That's where they do all their uh, fighting game tournaments and stuff up there. I have a buddy who who's big into that fighting game scene up there. So anyway, I haven't got to nerd out in a little while, so had to let that out. Um, Let's see. Did you fix your tire? No, but I have plans to do it. They are in the works now. All thanks to you, Scott. All thanks to you. Thank you, sir. Hey, guys. The music in Tim's video the other day was fantastic. That was... <laughs> that was all Shelton. Um, well, it wasn't all Shelton. All, all he did was type a prompt into an AI music generator, but that was really funny. Uh, Nate did bring up that you missed an opportunity to use Bullhog Press. Yeah, it would have been really good. The stickers basically turned the water into Gatorade. Dude, I'm I'm telling you. I was introduced to an anime, Goblin Slayer. Interesting show. Dude, episode one is the, the most crazy, the most uh, uh, inter <laughs> interesting, probably isn't the right word to use for that first episode, but... Um, but it, it's okay if you if you stick to it, if you don't mind watching, you know, some goblins getting cut up. <laughs> Tim could have a whole album. Dude, and I don't even think, I don't think Shelton knew that, like, what Tim's, like, genre of music. Did you put, like, his age in there or something? No, uh, I consulted Jay. You consulted Jay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um... Yeah, like, cause I did, I, so I didn't know that you had to consult at Jay, but it turned out perfect. Like, it was like right up his alley. When we went to uh, Texas this last time, I had my music playing, and I felt bad when the really weird stuff would come on. Weird, as in anything that was heavier than Elvis Presley. Um, <laughs> I would, I would turn the song and stuff like that, and of course, you know, whatever nerd nerd stuff came up. But um, so we ended up settling on some Motown. So that was, <laughs> that was, and so whenever I heard that song, I was like, dude, this is like right up Tim's alley. He's going to love this. Uh, he did not love it. <laughs> Heather Demarest recommended it. Okay. Yeah. No. I mean, I mean listen, she gives good recommendations. Uh, have I seen Akira? Unfortunately not. Uh, yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? It's one of the old, it's one of the classics that I haven't gotten around to watching. Some of the best animation. I mean, like yeah. The style they use, they started on a black background and painted white. Yeah. I mean, listen, I know it's good. You don't know. <laughs> I know. No. I do know, but uh, yeah, I just haven't I haven't got to it. Dude, we should a uh, Tim Morris Christmas album. I think it would be funny if we did a um it would to expand on that idea. What about a tactical response Christmas album? Now, now we're we're getting somewhere. And I know just the AI to ask to do it. <laughs> Pretty spot on song. Yeah, I agree. Did he know about the song before the video came out? No, he did not. No, he did not. <laughs> uh, the music was like Dirty Harry meets 70s porn. It was perfect. Again, that's that's how you could describe... Uh, <laughs> that's how you could just, just describe Tim, huh? Um Bullhog Press, what about Pork Snouten? Yeah, that's going to have to be in the remix. Both of those. Let's keep the tally for Joey. Unfixed motorcycle tire and hasn't seen Akira. The shame, dude. I feel worse about the motorcycle tire than Akira. Um. <laughs> but this isn't the nerd show, guys. Get it together. Act like you got some sense. People are watching. Uh, <laughs> I brought it on myself. That's okay. Um... But yeah, cool. So, looks like neither one of them are joining in. You want to jump on here, Adam? Yeah. It's Adam, everybody. It's Adam. If you were wondering where he was at, why he wasn't in the in the chat, um, <laughs> this is why. 
He's been busy all day. I have. I have. Dude, been running running some people through through some scenarios. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice small class, so we get to a lot of scenarios. Yeah. A yeah. lot. Yeah. Really good ones too. Well, we made it through twelve today and uh and Adam has been working on making people hate ATMs. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, Adam Hall, yep, there he is. What's up, guys? John, Grant, <laughs> Scott, Mark, Walt, Mark Dewalt. Eggers. Uh, do, do, do. It always turns into the Food Network eventually. That's funny. <laughs> Josh, I hope you heard the uh, the history of Tim's song because we were talking about that at a Self Reliance Festival. Mm. So, <laughs> okay. Like, I, I didn't know about it, and he was telling me about it. And I was like this exist <laughs> like, <laughs> so like immediately once i got back to the hotel i was like oh that was that yeah. was nice that, that was nice <laughs> it was legit yeah yeah you guys should thank shelton because he he showed it to me and i was like man like it's a little long like we could try to cut it out oh, oh excuse me could try cutting some of it out no and he was like no, no he's on. like if they've already watched the full video like they're gonna appreciate this <laughs> we'll give them proper reward <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Uh, but to do Mark Curtis, I plan on filming another take on the fast drill because my first take was garbage. Uh, yeah, hey man, mine too. I've ran it. I went out there and run it a couple of times twice now. Should have the second run coming out soon on the socials. But yeah, I'm gonna get out there and do it as well. I still haven't made the time. Have you tried shooting it yet? Do you know what we're talking about? Mm -mm. All right, so we've started a monthly challenge, mm -hmm. and each month, if you are a Liberty TV member and do the drill put it on social media and tag us in it, then you have a chance to win something. Whatever, you know, whatever it may be. Things like, you know, coupon codes, uh, shirts, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, and so this year, or this month, we're doing the fast test, which is the drill from our fast and accurate. So okay. seven yards from concealment, draw two to the brain, reload four to the heart within seven seconds. It's spicy. tough. It's tough. That's spicy. It's tough. <laughs> I'm at like the best run I got was like an eight something. Eight is high eights too, like eight seven or something. Yeah. So it, it's it, it's tough. It's it's not an easy drill. So again, guys, if you haven't run it yet, even if you don't have a Liberty TV account, it's an excuse to go to the range and just try to yeah. like show off. Don't do the stuff that you're good at. Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Which. We can all be guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Like, because if it, if it was up to me, I would have just done something like a bill drill. Because yeah. I can do a bill drill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I was like, I wanted to pick something that was challenging, something that I hadn't done a whole lot of, uh, because I want it to get better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So now, before you leave Camden, you should go out to the range and try to do the fast test. I probably should. You should. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably go out there on Friday. Shelton, what do you think? And go out there Friday, record a few runs of it? Yeah. Yeah. We need to. I, I know. Um, <coughs> all right, cool. Adam covered my ass at the ATM this weekend. Oh, so you went to an ATM. He, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> he, he's like, yeah, you don't have to. And I was like, no. no. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be the one time something's going to happen. <laughs> and I'm like, where's Adam? Um, he was tired. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> so. I, 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 had, I had to go to it, too. Like, everybody out at Self-Reliance Festival is all cash, so... Mm -hmm. I had to yeah. take care of that. Nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, if, you, if you're if you going to go to an ATM... Yeah. You might as well have someone there with you. Yeah. 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 Like, if you gotta, you gotta. And it was, it was the one out in front of Big Daddy, so... Oh, There was okay. a whole bunch of other people yeah. within yelling distance, so I was like, oh, we'll yeah. be all right. So it's not like that ATM that's on the way to Paris that's no. just in that standalone no. parking lot, like no, that thing. Is, no. Yeah, like a, a giant X in front of it that says like "Stand here to get robbed." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that's just a big trap. Right yeah. There. <laughs> uh, Joey, shouldn't it be two to the heart, one to the gray matter? Uh, no, no, man, because it is it is not a Mozambique. It's not a it's not a failure to stop or whatever you wanted to describe it. It is it is the fast test. I don't know where where James got it from, um, but it is in the f fast and accurate outline as two to the brain, reload four to the heart. Uh, again, seven second yard, seven second par seven yards. So, you know the the whole. 
Mozambique and stuff like that. Like that's, I don't know. That's one of the ones that I kind of was like wanting to stay away from. Mm-hmm. Um, very similar. I feel like that that is one that people can get sucked into and they start trying to get better at the drill instead of like I am doing this to get better at fighting kind of thing yeah you know and um green line tactical today this past weekend with don he had a he had a really good talk on like eventually like anytime you're doing a drill like this and that's why we're leaving it at like a month because i figure at most people are going to do this four times like maybe once a week if they're trying they're going to get out to the range and run the drill just as soon as you start getting good at a drill like this it's time to it's time to move on and and find something else you know because you can game it and just get really good at drawing and doing even the fast test, you know. So, where that's supposed to be? Nah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I'm probably talking too loud. I'm like right here on top of it, yelling at the guys. I'll see some comments, but like Adam, speak the fuck up. <laughs> um, do do do. Well, work for financial institution, and you couldn't pay me to use an ATM. Too many issues I've seen come across my desk. Yeah, man. Yeah, there you go. this is the first one I've used in right years, right years. Except we always train for real life. Second round to brain ammo waste. Well, I definitely understand where you're coming from, and this is—I mean, this is a debate that 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 we can have. So, um. Is it a waste to try to put two rounds as quickly as you can into a small area? Um, I I wouldn't think so. Um, I I would I would argue no. That's that's why I'm okay with doing things like is like if we always train for real life. Is the Allen dot a waste? Right, like the Allen dot drill. Mm-hmm. Is is that a waste? Because those are just one inch round circles that we're putting like three, four, five rounds into, right? So, so that's 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 my opinion on it. Unless you're getting attacked by like an alligator, yeah. Where you got to hit that, that little ping pong ball on the brain. Uh, yeah, exactly. So you never know. <laughs> yep. Um, volume is fine. All videos should be as loud as Alex Jones and Motorhead. What a combination. That is good. <laughs> Nice. Uh, sitting here doing dry practice while listening. Might have to go to go try this fast shoot. You should. It's fun. And it's and it's tough. It's tough. Oh, no. That's oh, inappropriate. Don't, don't <laughs> if you weren't the head of HR, you'd be in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys guess who that was? Who, who else would I be saying something like that to? Uh, took fighting pistol with Lewis for the first time this weekend. It's now abundantly clear why people take this class more than once. Truly eye-opening stuff. Yep. Yeah. Have you had pistol more than once? Um, actually, I I took it, and then you guys were shorthanded or something. I came down and helped. And then you helped you. out with it. Nice. Which, Excellent. So we put you to work instead of letting you shoot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. That sounds like something we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Kyle Boer, Kyle Boer did a did a run of the fast test. I didn't see your time on there, man. Um, I know I commented on there words of encouragement and stuff like that, but um, but Kyle was actually in the fast and accurate class that I taught okay. last year after alumni, and he was like, "This was the one drill that I couldn't like get the par time on." So uh, he's out there running it again. Do do do. All right, cool. Um, got to sit in on a debrief for that fighting pistol class this weekend. Very cool. Yep. Yep. Adam was busy. He was over there at SRF having fun. Yep. While everybody else was learning. <laughs> it was good. It was good. They had some really good speakers this year. I heard. So. I heard that it was a good like turnout of um, of presenters. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It seems like it seems like everyone there's like it gets better and better and mm-hmm. bigger and bigger, more known people. Like they had um, Angry American this year who wrote oh, the cool. uh, the Going Home series. Mm-hmm. Great books, and I I've been reading him for. 10 years so yeah. it was cool to meet him and he gave his whole history of how he got started and everything so mm-hmm. that's good yeah no oh, very cool well yeah. not that this is the srf one but uh yeah. the podcast but uh what was your favorite favorite part of of srf <clears throat> besides getting to just see a bunch of people i like um his his was really good and mm-hmm. then sunny kills oh, it. oh yeah, yeah yeah like 
he did uh he has he did a very very condensed uh his de-escalation de-escalation man yeah the conflict that, management class so. that's a that's a such a big thing that people and it's tough to like practice that like yeah. how do you practice de-escalation yeah you know like yeah. it's tough and it's something that um that people don't I don't think gets talked about enough um yeah like my first introduction to it was because I haven't trained with Sonny yet. Yeah. Uh, but in Craig's Doug, Craig Douglas's ECQC mm -hmm. Shivworks, um, he has like the first half. Like you meet that evening, mm -hmm. um, and that first like four hours is all about it. And yeah. I was like, holy shit! Like this is tough. Yeah. You know, like I can't imagine trying to build like a an outline around like, like if some dude says you touched his girlfriend's ass, like, yep. like you should just say, sorry, man, like, you know, I didn't know, apologies, or whatever, like, trying yeah. to, like, de-escalate the situation. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, the, the managing unknown contacts. Mm -hmm. Learning that, it's probably, that kept me out of more shit than, like, All anything. Right. Like, swallow your pride, apologize. Yeah. And yeah. then dip, dip out. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. Maybe a couple of glances over your shoulder, make sure he's not following you, and just leave. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But people don't want to. Mm-mm. Not at all. And it's one thing to talk about it and then be put into a force on force scenario where like if you don't de escalate it, then things go so south kind of thing. Yeah. And uh that's what happens in ECQC. Yep. You know, it's it's so crazy. It's yeah. so crazy. Um but I do ordered my first Glock, please trade in. Who has best price on mag so far seeing them for like twenty two a mag? I I don't know. I have no idea where the best prices on mags would that's be. Easy. Pretty reasonable. Yeah. Twenty two. Twenty two? I have I have never bought a magazine. Because I'm spoiled. You just get all the ones out yeah. of the range of all, the names all, on them. All my <laughs> magazines say Jaeger on them right now. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um my first run was seven twenty. Whoa. Uh, you had other runs below the part time. So were you running? So was it that you didn't have the? Did you were you outside of the zones then, um, or well, am I just talking shit and you did pass it? Seven twenty is pretty good. I mean, that's a solid second and a half faster than what I'm doing it right now. I'll probably get it this this time though. After taking that red dot class, man, I'm ready. We need a lot of like, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Managing unknown contacts has saved my life about a thousand times. Yeah, yeah. in your line of work, man. Well, yeah. yeah, right. I, I couldn't do that. No, <laughs> no, not at all. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, cool. Five forty-seven. Dang, five forty-seven with an outside the waistband holster. Okay, all right. Well, even when you add like the second and a half to that, like you're still right at seven seconds. That's still that's. That's fast, dude. Way to go, man. Everyone in that fast and accurate class was was crushing it. I was like, shit, I got to practice. <laughs> that's, good. that's good to hear. Yeah. Cool. Well, Adam, you want to tag out with any of these guys who want to jump in here? And they chit-chat, throw something at the... I know Tom's been wanting to, to talk at him a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> jump in here, man. <laughs> hey guys, it's so, Tom now. Oh, yeah, uh, it's, it's sadly, I was super disappointed uh -oh. that I I was waved off for. Uh, I know for these, I know, for these two. So yeah, there was no. Was that is that usually on? I, I don't want to. I, I know we got participants. But, you, know, you don't talk about Fight Club, so. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So, no? yeah. Juicy was was. Uh, that corner was was unattended. Yeah, today so, had, it had it it wasn't your corner. Yeah, it wasn't day. my corner. Uh -uh. Not my corner. Yeah. Uh. -uh. <laughs> no, so. we um, you know, we had some some students in the in the red dot class who had never role played before, yeah. and then we didn't have any role players like two weeks ago. So I put out a post like, "Hey guys, looking for role players?" Had Adam, of course, jump in. Hayden jumped in. I was like, "Okay, well, those two plus Tom." squared away ready to go and then the two guys from the red dot class was like hey we never role played can we jump in i was like yeah <laughs> you can <laughs> no <laughs> all right yeah no worries no and that's uh I, you know it's it's good yeah, I mean, yeah. You get, it, it's good to come up and role play if, you, if you've taken the fight come up and role play mm -hmm. you, if you haven't you're missing out for sure 
And that's us. I talked to him in class today. It's like even part of it is just to validate your own nonsense in there. But like, okay, I'm not super goofy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like I did that <laughs> thing too. Good yeah. to know that other people are yeah. doing that. Or like, <laughs> ooh, that was way worse than me. <laughs> yeah. That happens too. Yeah. That's right. And sometimes so. it's like, holy shit. Like I didn't even think about that when I yeah. went through here. Yeah. Like that's awesome. Like, yeah. Walk, walk through on it. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Carter. How are you? What's up? <laughs> hello. Hello. Hmm. Uh, does anyone know where that quote that's in the team room, bathroom, and the shower came from? Something about men choosing to do dangerous things and enduring. I do not know off the top of my head. Sorry. Um, and I, yeah, I haven't stayed in the team room for a while. I'm not even sure what the yeah. what the quote is. Me neither. So I'll have to ask. I'll have to ask Jay about it. Um, cool. So, man, you're out here. You, even though you weren't role playing, you still made the time to yes. come down to, to but, Camden. Yeah, and I got some other business tomorrow to take care of. But, uh, yeah, one, I, I enjoy doing it. And two, um, yeah, a little bit of a break. So, I am, you know, campaign update. If anyone mm -hmm. is not watching, I am running for Congress in the 4th Congressional District in Tennessee. And I am on the ballot. Nice. And there's actually, uh, all said and done, the incumbent and three other people in the, the Republican primary. Okay. So a, a little interesting uh, with the other two challengers. The one guy, if it's the right guy, is a uh, dentist in Murfreesboro. Mm -hmm. And so I have found his professional website, right. but nothing about the campaign, about oh, okay. you know, who he is as a candidate, yada, yada. Same thing for the other guy. And then... So, yeah, I'm like, I, it, it's kind of, you kind of go through the process and like how serious are people on okay. this. And then they're actually, I heard also, I was in um, Meigs County yesterday talking mm -hmm. and apparently, that, you know, in the know with some of them, but there's a little bit of grace period to, you have to pay $2,500 to the party mm -hmm. to be on the ticket. Yep. And so they give a little bit of like time or like, hey, you get a letter, pay your money, or we're not going to put you on the. We're not going to put you on the ballot, right? So, so it may uh, it may change. <laughs> yeah, it may be but, just you and one dude. <laughs> yeah. So and it's yeah it's the, part of the problem is is our current representative is not in the district. Mm. Uh, in fact, I called I called the DC office and uh, I'm like, hey, where's my guy at? Where can I meet him? They're on break. Is there anything? And they're they're, they're like, yeah, just Google it. Find Damn. out. Damn. <laughs> Damn. They're like, yeah, there's nothing. Um, he, so like, yeah, if you go to one of the Reagan Day dinners or the Lincoln Day dinners, yeah, he'll probably be there. Oh wow. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's been interesting, but yeah, it, it's going. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. What do I got? Yeah, that. And actually, I've got uh, well, with the VFW tomorrow, but it's there'll be some campaign related stuff there, because I did meet him at the the Reagan Day dinner in Bedford County. Um, and yeah, that's but so I get to, out of that came a conversation I need to have. Mm -hmm. So which will be tomorrow at the VF at the, the my district meeting with the VFW. Right. So yeah. So um, most of our most of our viewers aren't going to be you know in in your district, right? Yes. But what like hey, having you do go through this process, mm -hmm. run and understand that like there are people who actually care about this stuff who aren't like seated already and just are already like taking in that paycheck and and stuff like that so what would you say to to people who excuse me <clears throat> may not know like that they can go and like do research and figure out like yeah. what's going on around <laughs> them who they're voting for like don't vote yeah. for the dude just because his name has been on there the last few years with an r next to yeah. it yeah you know and, and people we don't like change Mm -hmm. That's you know you find even even as as you know students of the gun yeah you know we see people all the time <coughs> that you, you get all you want to do is the one thing even mm -hmm. if you get you know a class like all right I know it all now <clears throat> um, right. so people get in that comfort zone and like okay we kind of know this guy he may not be you know as as you know where exactly we want him to be so we just we vote for him mm -hmm. or you know we it's a mindset. Right. What, how, what, I hear it all the time still that my vote doesn't matter. Oh, my yeah. Vote doesn't count. Oh, yeah. And it, it, it doesn't if you don't go do the thing and cast it mm -hmm. and, and, and then back up and research your candidates who you're voting for. Uh, there's a the stat out there. I saw like seven percent of people go in and just whoever's the first one on the ticket. Oh, wow. And just like check the block. Yeah. It's like, yeah. You got to be kidding me. And, you know, it's a, 
I, I ain't even gonna lie, I've done it. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, some I of just picked the guy with the coolest name. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I, I'm gonna change it to Juicy. That's yeah, cool. there you go. <laughs> Holy shit, no contest. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, to research the the candidates, and then once they're in, to research and look at how they're voting, and that's part of the issue I have with with my representative right now, is that. He's alleging conservative, mm -hmm. alleging he's he, he says he's with or you know caucuses with the Freedom Caucus until it comes time to do Freedom Caucus stuff, mm -hmm. and then so he he was not in favor of voting. He voted no to replace McCarthy, which I was like we never should have put that dude in, mm. but then it was time for him to go because he lied to us, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting to that point with our our, our current speaker because he's lied to us. Anyway, but then after that vote, he throws those guys under the bus talking about they got it wrong they. Look, dude, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're not going to go with them, then just, you know, I, I would have been okay with that. But mm -hmm. that was the, the one step you're like, man, dude, yeah. just quit. <laughs> so, man. And then term limits. I say he's been, in, he, he's been in since 2010 is when he first got elected. Wow. And has advocated or said, or not advocated, but has said, yes, self-imposed term limits. Mm. But I have yet to hear when or what that number is. Right, right. And, I, and my personal opinion is 12 years is plenty. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so, too. It. So that's where I'm at. Dude. And then, yeah, just doing the thing. It's, and then so, and then you have to look nationwide, too, especially mm -hmm. with the, the House of Representatives. And the you know especially here the the republicans that are holding the line and mm -hmm. if they're not like my guy then we need somebody else yeah and so if you're if you are okay with what you have then you look you know outside like what races do we have especially the incumbents uh and you can you can donate wherever you want mm -hmm. and i would i would advocate um individual candidates okay to, instead of just throwing money to the party to the party and yeah, yeah of course and that's kind of the the you know where i'm at now i'm like we're figuring out this finance can or the campaign finance laws because mm -hmm. it's it, yeah it's a it's a dangerous game oh and there's there's liability but it's no doubt know, like i said it's the mindset and you know it's worth the fight yeah so we stay in it and that you know it's like what do you what do you do you just do the thing right and then get better just yeah like, just like we're training exactly right exactly and that was it uh, so i i i will be on another um or i was on another podcast uh, I already had, uh, I went out to Ghost String Tactical in New yeah. Mexico and had asked to be on with those guys. And they, and I was actually expecting them to tell me no. No, just yeah. because I understand, you know, I, I do, I got my own YouTubes, Red 4 Reviews, if you're interested. <laughs> yep. And, uh, or um, Tom Davis TN4 if you want campaign stuff out there. But, uh, so anyway, I didn't think they were going to put me on, but they did. And they're like, yeah, what, we don't even know what we're going to talk about. And so, you know, getting he had to wrap it up at the end, be like, oh man, dude, we've been because <laughs> uh -huh, it just it just got going. Yeah. But so in there, it, it so part of the class that day were two videos. One was the the cop that stayed in the fight. You know, mm -hmm. he he pulls in, bad dude comes out, and like you know, like like they do, you know. Mm -hmm. you can, I can, I, did you have to hit the dump button? <laughs> no. I think I was You're off, off frame. I was yeah, off frame, yeah. so we're good. All right, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but so he, he, you know, each limb he gets it, but he manages to get out of his his seatbelt and come out and returns fire and and winds up smoking the dude. Mm -hmm. The next guy is say, his cop, and he's coming up on the some dude, you know, whatever he's like they do, and dude just pulls the knife and like comes at him. The cop immediately turns and runs. Oh no! Yeah. And, yeah. and just he, I mean, he gave up there and and he's mm -hmm. dead. And part of it, you know, you, you hear the guy bleeding out. And that was mm. the, so the setup for that is, is mindset. Yeah. And so on the podcast, you know, it's like, what do we do? Or, you know, and, and one of the guys on there had been like doing a lot of stuff, calling, calling your reps. If you haven't called your rep, you should ask them how, if they spend their own money at a deficit. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, so anyway, and that's so that, you know, kind of like, and they're like, ah, you used our own stuff against us. Mm -hmm. It was, it was good. But, yeah. but I mean, you know, if, if what you're getting, you know, if what you're doing isn't working, you do something different, right? So, yeah, um, yeah but it's it's been been really interesting yeah. to, to do the thing. So, all right, any classes or questions? Because I'm sure everyone's not super <laughs> they're not super excited about listening to me on this stuff. Hey, but you can donate if you're interested, and that's uh, Thomas E. Davis for Congress. There you go. Dot com. Jump yeah. on there and, and do some donating. Do it, guys. Um, Joey, I didn't see this past weekend. I was actually taking a class. I was taking Green Line's Red Dot Pistol class Saturday, Sunday. And then I took uh, the Red Dot Pistol instructor Monday, Tuesday. So that that's why you didn't get to see me, man.
Uh, and then finally, Joey, have you taken Green Line's DMR class? I have. I actually do have a review of it up on, on the channel. Um, <laughs> that was back when I first started doing this stuff, so I'm not, I'm not saying it's a good video because I was still super <laughs> nervous and everything. But, uh, but it is up there. It is a great class. I had a lot of fun. I don't do a lot of long-range stuff. Uh, and it, people who do long-range stuff, when you say, like, I don't do long-range stuff, uh, especially in the east side of the country, they're like, yeah, because you can't. Yeah. Like, you know. Uh, so, anyway. Yes, uh, I don't do a lot of it. Don was a very good instructor on on getting you making multiple hits at as far as we can shoot, like, quickly, which is his his thing with that class, is, like, how do we take this gun and get, like, five hits, like, in the air before you start hearing the first one hit the steel? Like, it's like a fighting rifle kind of oh, kind yeah. of thing, you know. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So the sum sum up before Ed's ask or asks is isn't isn't the team room shower like Fight Club? Mm. I guess that depends on how many are in the shower, <laughs> right? <laughs> I couldn't resist that. Yeah. <laughs> and then Kevin, uh, hey, you're welcome. It, it's it's worth it. I I swore an oath to defend the Constitution, and it, I'm I'm still on it. So mm -hmm. there is that. Uh, yep. Yeah, Liberty Seeker. Yep, nailed it. Yep. You don't. Good evening. Hello, Jose. Yeah. Uh, hello, they're hello. Talking, they're talking to each other, so I'm not going to read that. <laughs> oh. Justin Newalt saying, "Bill drill at distance." Yeah, I mean that's almost what that turns into the DMR yeah. class. Like, it's it's super cool. Uh, man, I just always have such a good time training with them. Like yeah. Don and his whole cadre. It was only Don this time, but yeah. uh, but all the guys that he's got over there, solid instructors, lighthearted. Like, you just have a blast the whole yeah. time you're taking a class. It was a lot of fun. So, and, and, and before I forget yeah. the suggestion for you. Yeah. And that is, I mean, you cleaned up. It looks really nice. Thank you. But for us looking up, so raise this, like go back to the table. So we're you, you're you're more looking, reading instead of looking up. Yeah, just you know, hey, I I'm mean, just trying to help you. You do. You. I I get it's, it. It's hey your, man, it's your it's your studio. Yeah. Well, it's Shelton's studio. <laughs> oh, it's really. Shelton's studio. Yeah. My bad. Um, <laughs> but we. So he wants us up here looking yeah. goofy, like up down, up down, well, up down. <laughs> Adam, Adam, we just had this conversation beforehand. Like you know, when the words were behind the camera, then we were doing this. Yeah, trying so to see it. Yeah. I was opposed. <laughs> so um, man, there's there's a sweet spot somewhere. I think you're on to something. Yeah, like I said, because I, I think if you're up a little bit yeah you know, stools. we need really yeah. tall stools or uh, yeah I, I don't know electric anyway. chairs just oh, like yeah right and then, <laughs> and then you, can, you can adjust so everybody's like the the same height and, yeah yeah exactly it's, yeah it's dude not weird i like it all right shelton <laughs> so get on that that was yeah you, there we go make use it, make use ai sorry. to make us some yeah. electric chairs <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell jim and i to hook it up yeah <laughs> Build a platform. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. That would oh, be, man. It, that it, would be it's going, simple. It's going weird now. Easy and efficient. Oh, yeah. And that's just, that's not how we do things around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. depending on the platform, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's uh, like stairs and, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know, trap doors or mm. secret compartments. Dude. Or, you know. All right. Now we're getting back yeah, to somewhere. So I can, we can we can take it. Somewhere. I can drive with. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yep. Yep. So what other classes out there? So I and I just mentioned I've been to this and this year is going to be super slow for me. Yeah. On training because I'm you're of, working, I'm kind of doing some other some yeah another thing, but uh, I did get I did sneak that one in and so I do have some gear stuff. Mm. Which seems to be my better performing videos. So I will have still have some yeah. content coming out with gear and and, and that. So mm -hmm. I'm like, man, still that, and I can write that stuff off. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it is convenient. It yeah, is like it works. Just like just passing receipts to yeah. Heather. So that's I'm still working. I, I think I talked here, but uh, the Sons of Liberty Gunworks rifle. Mm -hmm. I'm still running that one, and that was so that was pretty funny. So that I I wound up, you know, I was in New Mexico, came back through, and I wound up going to the factory. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, oh my gosh, those guys is the the message is hilarious. <clears throat> it's uh, and they caught me. They I got rickrolled. If, uh oh, you know, yeah, I, straight up. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you go through the the list, like push the button for customer service, and or and it, it wasn't customer service. But I, was, I was pretty sure that that was what I needed. And then a couple other things, and they're like talking about, hey, be, you know, this guy may be grumpy if he hasn't had his coffee. <laughs> so it was just general hilarity. Yeah, yeah. And I get, and then it gets done, and it's like, and press number nine if you want to talk about Fight Club. 
And I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, I know the rules, yeah, yeah. but I really want to talk about Fight Club. Right. But I need, so and anyway, then it's like, yeah, you're never going to live. I was like, ah. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, That's oh, great. Awesome. And then you have the guys out there where they were, they were great. And then as it turns out, I, the, the front takedown pins are just not what I'm used to. Mm-hmm. And so it was weird. And then actually with my gear, it like pushed out a little bit. So I was like, hey, man, whatever. I'm here. Let's go see these guys. Yeah. Because if, if you're not familiar with them out there, they have a ridiculous warranty. Mm, um, to the okay. to the point of like if it gets uh, confiscated for self defense they'll replace it oh, over with cool. your car they'll replace it wear parts replace it so that was why I went with it and I like the the, mm-hmm. the rifle so yeah. but anyway I was like here I am let me let me swing through and check them out and yeah they they got me all in and dialed in they're like yeah no dude it's it's good dude I'm that's like, awesome okay it's just it's, it's me it's weird so, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that that's was awesome. that was hilarious. So anyway, so that was back to, back around uh, other other places to train was kind of the the point of the channel for anybody mm-hmm. out there that that doesn't know, and so this year it's going to be more more gear more stuff. Gear. Yeah, but so, you know, again, you're kind of yeah. you got a lot going on. It's yeah. tough to take the the weekends so, and yeah. and weekdays <laughs> out to yeah. Well, to that get and, classes and done. you know, um, I'm at the at, we're at the stage now where it's it's uh, campaign finance, mm-hmm. so trying to fundraise yeah. for some of the bigger stuff. So, um, you know, up to this point, I've been pretty much self-funding it yeah i have had some donations but i'm like all right and then uh yeah and then in, i don't know if you've, you've seen but um and and i thank you for that the the endorsement oh uh, yeah as a as the company yeah and uh but so that is, you know it's on my website now. nice i got an endorsement page yeah and uh yeah i got some videos and then the yeah the I, the affiliate link is awesome mm-hmm. i like that that was good stuff so <laughs> All right. Yeah, everyone else was here. Any, uh, just you know. Rrr, yeah. Throw um, it out, man. I can. Uh, we can probably keep talking. Oh, just remember. So to, yeah, guys, hit that hit, that hit that like button. I'm I, a terrible terrible at this job, yeah. but yeah, if you yeah, do the the things, man. If you're watching the buttons, you're already yeah. dropping comments. Mm-hmm. Call your buddies, tell them to get on here. Yeah, all let's, you let's, guys standing around, pull your phones out. Go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hit your like buttons. I already did. Yeah, oh. Nice. Cool. Make snide comments from out there. Yeah, you know. That's what Whatever. I used to do. Yeah. Like when James and all them were like up here, we'd have yeah. like six people just like commenting on their phones like the whole time. Uh, the guy before you was better. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Cool. So, well, yeah. Anybody yeah, want to? Yeah, if you guys want to. Uh, somebody like, jump in here. Wave at me. Oh, all right. There Anybody? Come on, Hayden. Get in here. All right. It, you got 17 go. minutes. <laughs> Oh, Uh-oh. look at that. Oh, membership, yeah. Yeah, cat oh, ass. Yeah, nice. Very kind of you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Give look at that. Like that. Wow. Where are you at this this time? You still out there at a at a racetrack? I saw. You coming in? Let me... Oh, all right. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, Abby is being requested. By name, actually. <laughs> By name. Just come say wow. hi. Well, you know, here, let me get out. Oh, who was Let's it? go. Abby, come up here and tell at, at least come tell them that that they should come take the fight. Hi, Thad. I know I'm your favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come take the fight. There you go. Um, dude, thank you, Catass. That was great. So, Abby. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's so formal. I'm not used to that. Um, Sorry, I have manners. I know. Yeah, it's uh, it's ma'am. Uh, so one day into the fight. Yes. How are you feeling? Still nervous. Still nervous? Yes. Yeah. You know what I did? I told. I already made fun of these guys whenever they walked into the Mexican restaurant. But you know what I noticed when you walked into the Mexican restaurant? You weren't doing this. Yeah. Like, you weren't, like, checking the corners, like, sliding against the wall like you were when you were in the, some of those scenarios. Was I up against the wall? No, no. That's an exaggeration. But all of you were, like, absolutely, like, walking <laughs> real slow and then, like, looking this way, like, looking that He's way. over there. Yeah. <laughs> So you've just been hanging out in this sh- this dimly lit room the whole time with like you haven't been you haven't been looking around or nothing. I feel pretty protected here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was to stop Tim from busting out from behind that wall with a, with a sim gun? I wouldn't trust Tim. So that's <laughs> true. That's true. Cool. Well, he left. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that's why she's not nervous anymore. Tim's out of the building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. So, not to put you on the spot, but what's your uh, what would you say is your biggest takeaway from the the class so far? Definitely being more situationally aware. 
Which is what you said you wanted to work on. Yes. So you're already getting yes. some reps in on that? Yeah? Yes. Good. Excellent. Uh, I w hey, look, there's Heather saying hi to you. Hi, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> and Catass is in Texas Motor Speedway. Dang. Going to try to grab some dinner with a fellow alumnus or two. Don't do that. Those guys are weird. <laughs> um, yeah, I would, you know, I would ask you what your favorite scenario has been so far, but, you know, there's people who haven't taken it or anything, but... If everyone would take it, they wouldn't be giving anything away. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm. You heard it here first, guys. Everybody should take the fight. It's part of the trifecta for a reason. Oh, I'll tell you what my biggest takeaway for you, not to pick on you too much, yes. but you are doing this weird version of the trifecta where you've taken fighting pistol. You've actually mm -hmm. taken the way of the pistol, right? Or did you just do advanced? I just did advanced. Regular and advanced. Mm -hmm. So you, you've not, not done those two, and then you took the fight, but you haven't had medical yet. Someone is a little scared. Someone is scared. I heard something about someone being worried about like a NPA or, or something like that. Someone not wanting an NPA like put up their nose. <laughs> yeah, and it's not you. No. No, you're on no. board. Yeah. So it, it's like the person that you know shouldn't be worried about it. Like the, stereotypically, the man... stereotypically, you would think this person is like supposed to be brave yeah. and, and stuff like that, no. right? Yeah, well, uh, hey, good Don't on him. Don't put anything up my nose. Yeah, yeah. Good on him for being progressive like that. You know, <laughs> not not conforming to gender norms. Like, that's 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 awesome. <laughs> cool. Well, look at that. Um, did you accidentally send one at Tim by chance? No, but he said he was going to send one at me. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, he knew he as as big of a game as he was talking. He knew that if he went back there when you had a sim gun, game over. For game him. over for him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he was talking a big game though. Um, someone should have an NPA scenario tomorrow. I <laughs> I might have to work something out to make that happen. It's not in the outline, but I'll I'll put it there. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thad is saying that he can break him off of, uh, break him of it if we have Dawson help. So the, yeah. 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 We could. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the nose hose. Very very cool. All right, Abby. Well, I won't make you stay, hang out up here any longer than you want to. So. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, yeah, thank you. Let me get out of here. <laughs> All right, guys. Someone else jump on here. We got like twelve minutes. Oh, what? What's going on, guys? Dude, what is up? So, Shane, let the people know. What are you up to? The fight. The fight is awesome. The Trifecta fight? is the way to go. Um, so you didn't mess up. You did fighting pistol, immediate action medical. Then you took both of those classes again and then did the fight. You hit those study guides twice before taking the test. That's just that's just smart. That's a good student right there. Um, but yeah, so you you've had fighting pistol before. How long ago was your like first pistol and medical class? Oh man, uh, it feels like a couple of months ago, but it was four years. Four years. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. COVID really messed up the time frame of how I, the right. truth or whatever we're calling it. But um, yeah, man. So getting the refresher on all that stuff was really nice. Uh, getting to try to pick up all the things I missed before and getting mm -hmm. reminders on things and then getting to put those to use through the fight and, you know, testing that out and also being able to go through these scenarios and see kind of the, how, how do I say this? We, we talked about this earlier, but kind of pulling things apart uh, to, to really see the many layers of stuff through that experience in a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, that's that's a a huge thing because some of the stuff you go through it's it, it is it's a big eye opener and it's great that you're you're able to have that here so mm. uh, i would i would hate to have to experience some of these scenarios and well all of them obviously but um <laughs> that one i really wanted to be a part of oh, yeah. <laughs> i wanted to happen on the way home actually <laughs> but no it, to have that in a controlled environment and i i know it's we we have a bad habit of trying to talk ourselves out of it. We, we work it up to be this, Oh, I've, the fear of the unknown. And, and it's like, man, if you can, if you can put a tourniquet on, you can, 
you can definitely do this. And oh, yeah. I would, looking back on it now, I would rather have this, have that experience and the ability to go through, back through things mentally and walk through those steps and really examine those scenarios. Uh, I would I would regret not having that. Oh, no, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, we talked a little bit about it at the start of the class, but I'm going to say it for the live stream as well because I want to give John Hearn a shout out. But John, John Hearn's class, Who Wins, Who Loses, and Why? It goes super in-depth over that right there, the title of the class. Um, and the biggest thing is humans get switched from caveman, or sorry, from thinking brain to caveman brain because of novel experiences, brand new experiences. And so doing things like force on force, like you guys are doing, um, helps you mitigate some of that thing because it won't be to a T. Holy shit, how lucky would you be if it was like to the T? You're like, oh, weird. I can't talk about the scenario, but I was just about to start rambling one off. But uh, but like how, like you'd just be like, oh, easy day. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it won't be to a T. But anyway, the fact is that um, close enough to where hopefully you won't get shifted out of that that uh, thinking brain, you know? Yeah, yeah. There was, there was a couple of times where I was exposed to man, just not being able to get the words to the mouth and out and communicate mm -hmm. correctly. And uh, that's, no. that's a big deal. And was, I was very glad to be exposed to that so I can be aware of it, work with it a little bit more, but going back to stress inoculation. Yeah, no, no doubt. So uh, you might have already answered it. You might have already said it out loud. But if you had to say so far from day one, let the people know what your biggest takeaway from, from the day has been so far. From the day. Yeah. Or hell, I'll even say, I'll give you the week since you've been here for the week. Okay. Man, I'm going to have to think about that one. <laughs> biggest, well, no biggest. pressure, but everyone's watching. So. Everyone. <laughs> all of you. So, uh, and I'll say this kind of around dancing around a few things here but conceptually uh going back to safety and the focus on safety it's not just the physical safety but back mm. to um as james talked about in fighting pistol was you know a, a lot of us and fellow alumni have heard um the speech the lecture mm -hmm. and so we're, we're familiar with the three battles the the physical the uh, legal and emotional battles mm -hmm. and that safety affects all three of those so the safety affects our legal battle the safety affects our emotional battle so some circumstances we may not have enough information on we may need to gather more information on instead of just wanting to jump right in and save the day and and, and do good things uh, but then maybe emotionally pay some serious consequences later because we just didn't have enough information that's that's a very good takeaway. Yeah. Information is, is king. It, it is something that you need to make sure you have plenty of when, when you're making any of your decisions. I mean, you can stretch that outside of the class when it comes to life in general. The more information you have, the typically the better off you are. Mm -hmm. um, it's just doubly important whenever you start talking about, like, you know, using a gun to save someone, you know. So save someone. I, I really like the... Um, Tom Givens does it, uh, Akil over at Citizen Safety Academy. This is completely off topic, but I just reminded myself, and I have ADD, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, but they talk about how he asked the class, uh, like, why do we carry a gun? And I had had Tom Givens' class before, so I knew I knew the answer that he was trying to fish for. But I chimed in, set him up, and I said, hey, to, to protect people, to save lives. And uh, their follow-up to that is, yeah, I get that, but think about it this way. You carry a gun because you might have to shoot someone in the fucking face today. You know, so like before you decide to do that, like you need to have a lot of information, you know, so <laughs> very good. It is. A, it is a very good takeaway. Um, uh, let's let me get some of these questions. Joey, did y'all ever get dot sites on any of the force on force guns? No, we haven't yet, but literally just wrapped up a red dot class that uh, talked with Don Edwards about a bunch. We are going to start getting on that. I'd love to get one um, on a gun. Because you guys were all using big dots today. Um, great, great sites and stuff like that. But I'd be super curious to see, especially with like someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with a red dot, if they how they do compared to like iron sights, right? Uh, nice jug, thanks. You've got one almost as cool, but you don't have any stickers on it like I do. So 
Uh, let's see, two is one, one is none. I got shot in both arms and only had one tourniquet. Plus, I shouldn't have even gotten involved in that scenario. Still wakes me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the fight, not real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and look at that, Red 4 Reviews, talking about hitting the like button. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You guys should watch that that channel. Go ahead and click there and, and see what reviews he's got up there. Maybe find out some, some of the stuff, politics that he's been doing lately. All right, cool. Well, Shane, I'm not going to keep you up here okay. for any longer than you want to be. Anybody else? we got four minutes. Someone jump up on here. Oh, uh, look at that. Hello, hello. Hello. Does your dad know you're here? Are you going to be in trouble for getting on the live stream? No, he doesn't. Uh, he's going to be like, you're supposed to be at home. Working. <laughs> yeah. Said, I'm at home working. <laughs> I know. No, so this is the uh, son of Blue Falcon, everybody. So say hi. Hello. I'm uh, Hayden. Sometimes Thad's son works better. Yeah. But. Or S S B F son of Blue Falcon. I like that yeah. better. You know. Um, so you're role-playing this time first time sure. role-playing yeah all right it's great it's fun Actually, right it's so much fun it's it's a lot like of fun. sometimes it's like like not to be mean but it's like man these guys are messing this thing up <laughs> and then like you've totally been there before yeah 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 and it's like i was the exact same way yeah that's that's what tom was talking about like sometimes you have these moments where you're like oh, okay at least i'm not the only one who did that and sometimes it goes to the opposite ends of the spectrum. Like, wow, I really, I'm glad I didn't do that. Right. And I wish I would have done that. Um, but then we've talked a bunch on the live stream about it before. But like for this class, these guys are going through each scenario one time, but you're getting to see three different mm -hmm. versions each time. Right. right? Uh, so since we don't have a lot of time, I'm just going to put you on the hot seat. As a role player, what has been your biggest takeaway from, from watching these guys run through these scenarios today? It's kind. Of, it's more or less the variety mm -hmm. of what you have, and like, just how things do or how people do things differently, and then like you can compare it to how you do it yourself, and blah blah blah, and then it's like you're not under as much stress, mm -hmm. and then it's like, man, I would have wouldn't have done that, and then it's like, probably would have, right? Like you're not. Yeah. And mostly just being yelling at people. Yeah, you get you do get to let out a lot of aggression as a role player. Yeah, that's what I was telling the guys today. Is like, hey, don't don't be afraid to yell. Like this is like your one chance to act like a bad guy. Like let it out, man. <laughs> like, and you can just like when you're a main character, main role player of that scenario. Like you can change it so easily by what you say. Yeah, or how you do things, or where you move. Mm-hmm. Or just looking at somebody yeah, yeah. coming around a corner. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah for but sure. It's cool. good. It's are fun. you getting any good reps in, or are you just are you going like full bad guy style? You're not even looking at your sights when you press the press the trigger and stuff? Or are you actually trying to look at your sights, get no, good there's hits? there's a couple you get set yeah. up on. Yeah. I mean, some of them it's just... <laughs> <laughs> right? No, it's fun. Yeah. It is it is interesting because I even told told the students when I was debriefing one of the scenarios like it's easy for even for a role player, but especially for me as an instructor for me to be like this is this is how you should have done it like you did this part wrong or you know so on or so forth, um, but that's because I'm like setting up in my like ivory castle like <laughs> watching looking down on everything like hmm yes yeah well that was negative marks right there or whatever you know like it's so easy for me because we're removed from it like you yeah. know even in role players too like you guys to a lesser extent than as the instructor because you're still getting people like you're still having sim rounds shot at you sometimes yeah. and like like it or not like that's going to give you a little bit of a uh, uh stress <laughs> you know no, yeah there's definitely like first time doing it Mm -hmm. Like you definitely, I definitely got nervous mm -hmm. more or less because I didn't want to mess anything up. But you know, yeah. it's you're like, oh, like we did one of the drills, and it's like, okay, who's got the thicker jacket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, well, it's good. 
Oh, cool. Uh, I think we found your new new name, Blue Sparrow, instead of Blue Falcon. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's really good, Gary. That's great. <laughs> that's, that's excellent. That's great, Gary. Thanks. And then, <laughs> and then Austin, I call role playing crime simulator. Yeah, like that's how you should look at it. Like, like the uh, and before not to beat the horse to death, but like as a role player, the more you put into it, the more the students get out of it. Like, like you have to be able to let that out because like if you if you hold back if you're afraid of of cussing of saying the wrong thing or of like getting overly aggressive or anything like that like you're not giving them the due diligence because the bad guys like if they ever find themselves in an actual situation like this like the bad guy isn't going to be like give me your money <laughs> you yeah, know like, all uh, right yeah exactly like they're not and you can get more out of it yeah. as a role player too mhm mm cuz it just contradicts how they're going to react to it yeah exactly but yeah, it was great. Got drugged through yeah. water. <laughs> you did. You did get dragged yelling through some water. And... Yeah, a lot of yelling. Um, Lack of tourniquet applications on you. Yeah, no good. From, from someone who should know how to put a tourniquet on you. Dude, what if I didn't know? I was just a friend. No. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, like, you have someone who's probably with you oh. often who should know how to put a tourniquet on. Yeah. And they don't. You know? Like, that's just something that I noticed. Is I'm a not... bad guy gonna have a tourniquet though? <laughs> Is that what they're worried about here? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, you could have a couple of tourniquets on you. That's fair. <laughs> like I'm not. All right. Not arguing. Listen, guys. That's it. Eight oh two. I'm working overtime. I'm charging you for this. Um, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, we'll be back next week uh, to do another one of these things. Uh, so we'll see you then. <laughs> this is the way.